ba 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 Hey, kia ora. Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic, sparkling, winning Wednesday. Yes, that day of the week where we celebrate our wins. So what are your wins for the week? You can let us know in the comments below so we can celebrate with you. But I have a question for you. Do you ask yourself when, W-I-N? And I was browsing around and I came across this really cool acronym for win. And it is actually, um, it was um used by um lou holtz and if you don't know who lou, lou holtz is i didn't know this till years ago um, he was a famous college football coach and win win stands for what's important now and it said that he would remind his players at notre dame to ask themselves this question 35 times a day when they awakened in the morning in class in the study hall in the weight room on the practice field on the sidelines during the game and when the and went on the field during games. What's important now? And I thought that was such a great acronym for um, for when. What's important now? How many times a day do we ask ourselves what's important now? When we're making it, when you come to making a decision, why not ask that question? What's important now? If you're in, um, you got two decisions to make. You're you're at a crossroads and you're not sure what which direction to go. What's important now? and focus on what's important now rather than what might be important but you're not really sure um so i thought that was a really cool thing so what's important now um so what's important now for you mine is getting this message done within the next seven minutes before i have to go get on my morning wake up call <laughs> no my important my um important for me now is is just to connect with people i love connecting with people so, um, and just help, if, I, if anything I say can help somebody have a brighter day, then I'm all for that. Um, now, your tell your story question of the day. This was a good one. If you could go anywhere and do anything, what would your perfect vacation be? And I sort of thought, oh, what would my perfect vacation be? Hmm. And I thought, as much as I love to travel, and you know, and you might turn around and go, oh yeah, but we're in the middle of the global pause right now, so we can't really travel. Travel's getting, you know, we're getting um, different countries are closing off. Some have closed even tighter their borders and everything else, so we can't really travel. But there's no reason why you can't start thinking about that today. What is, and so that when all when travel bans are listed, are lifted, and everything else, what would be your perfect vacation? You are allowed to dream during global pause. This is the best time to be doing it because you're not distracted by a whole bunch of other stuff going on. What is important now? What do you want to go? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? You know, if there's, there's the world is full of incredible adventures, only a few, only a few. What was that, that quote about? Um, oh, something about life is, is Oh, I'm going to have to find that one. It's something about being a book. If life, if life were a book, some people don't get past the first page or something like that. So it's like, it's, oh, I'm going to have to find that quote. It's going to bug me for the rest of the day. Um, but there's a quote there, something about that, how some people don't get past the first page in their life. And yet there's so much story and adventure and mystery and intrigue and everything else beyond that first page, but nobody's willing to turn some people are not willing to turn the first page. The adventurers in life, the travelers in life are willing to rip that book wide open and read every single page and, and, you know, and write write the story. You know, some people um, will open the book. They'll, they may read the first page, but they refuse to turn it. They don't realize that the rest of the pages are blank in that book. And the reason that they're blank in that book is because you are in charge of your story. It's going out there. It's filling that, it's filling that book and many other books with your adventures, your mysteries, your intrigue, your thoughts, um, your conspiracy theories. <laughs> you know, those journals, are just, those books of your life are just so invaluable, which is why we're trying to encourage people to tell your story. You know, what was it like when you were growing up to what is it like now to what are your future dreams? And this is one of those questions for those future dreams. If you could go anywhere and do anything, what would your perfect vacation be? Mine would be... Um, taking a year or two and just traveling the world 
going and exploring the world, trying new adventures. Um, not so sure about some of the foods out there. They kind of creep me out a little bit on some of those travel shows that I used to watch. Um, but I might be adventurous to give some of them a try, not all of them. Uh, <laughs> I'm adventurous to a point. <laughs> But mine would be to go travel the world. And if my parents are still um, still alive and up and able to, um, I mean, they walk more miles than I do a day. <laughs> and I have a dog to walk. Um, but my my true dream would be to, to go on, to take a year or two and just go travel the world, take my parents on an all expenses paid vacation and have them come with me for a year or two. Um, and yet, you know, we may go explore one country for a month or something and then come back to home base rest and relax and then go off on another go off on another month's adventure that would kind of be the ideal go off for a month explore a country come back for a month regroup figure out where we're going to go next make the plans and off we go again so we're not just continually just living out of suitcases the whole way um in some places it will be like um one thing i've always want to do is the canal boats is just take you know where you get your own little hope um houseboat canal boat whatever it is and you just go floating down the canals through the locks and all that sort of stuff that would be that would be really cool i'd love to do something like that so there's a lot of there's a lot of things on my list and it's taking the time to do it and so um i mean i would have Zephy to come with me would be awesome too but i'm not sure if that would be a possibility unless i get a really trained to be a good service dog um but she's a great traveling companion and i'd hate to leave her behind for any of my adventures and stuff but um you know, on my perfect vacation, if I could go anywhere and do anything, I would take Zephy with me and we would go traveling the world together. She would be a world traveler. Um, and if I could take my parents with me too, and we could just have an amazing adventure just exploring and everything else, that would be awesome. Um, I mean, there's just so many things that I want to go and explore in this world and I want to take people with me. Um, so that would be my perfect vacation is being able to take whoever I want to take to go. You know, if somebody says I've always wanted to go to Africa and do a safari, well, let's go. Um, you know, and we just pack our bags and off we go for a month and go do safaris in Africa and explore the African continent and things like that. And you come back and somebody else says, oh, well, I want to go to you know, Russia. Well, let's go. And we go and explore Russia and St. Petersburg and, um, and do, yes, we do some of the touristy stuff, but I want to get off the beaten path. I don't want to do all touristy stuff all the time. I want to get in where the locals live and get in there. Anyway, I have to go. So what would your perfect vacation be? I mean, I could write pages pages on what my perfect vacation would be as long as I was um with you know had somebody with me to share the adventures with um as much as I like traveling as much as I like I'm getting used to being by myself I am getting used to being by myself it's taking a long time because almost four years since Brad passed um and there are days that I just wish I had a, a companion with me that you know, we could go exploring together just to have somebody with you to share the adventures with. And that's one thing I miss when I'm driving on the road is I don't have somebody to drive to share the driving with or somebody to talk about some of the sights and see things that we see along the way or to go explore some of the things that we see along the way. So it would be nice to have that. But, you know, I'm learning. It's a process. Some people get over it quicker. Some people take time. And I'm taking my time to figuring out who I am, what it is I want out of life, where I want to go, what I want to do, um, but I still want my log cabin on a lake with a barn and RV pads. So <laughs> anyway, um, go figure out, and ask, don't forget to ask yourself throughout the day, what's important now? Have a super fantastic sparkling day, and we'll see you around 6 p.m. this evening, Pacific time. Hey, konara.